Oh, what is up, Instagram? I'm going live on Instagram. This is the second time I've ever gone live on Instagram, but I, I just felt like I really wanted to clear the air on this Cardi B nonsense. Um, so first and foremost, Cardi, I watched your story and it sounds very funny. Um, first off, <laughs> I'm saying it's funny because you just it's just ridiculous to me that you even take anything that I said as offensive when I'm telling you the truth. Um, and I think if anything, you're only upset because people are telling you on Twitter that you got dragged because you did get dragged because you are an educated when it comes to politics. That's first things first. Um, I was not, I'm sure Ben Shapiro was not, we were not meaning to attack you. We're just simply telling the truth, which is the fact that Joe Biden did not, not spend the whole year in his basement to come up because he's a big Cardi B fan and sit down with you. He thinks you're an idiot. And, you know, I just am encouraging you to stop proving him right when you say ridiculous things like I had to sit down with Joe Biden because my sister got attacked by a Trump supporter, Santa Claus, making it seem like Trump supporters are homophobic. A little, little education for you, Cardi B. Uh, Donald J. Trump is the first president that's ever gone into office in support of gay marriage. So, you know, those eight years that your presidential candidate Joe Biden spent um, as a vice president with Obama, they didn't support gay marriage going into office. Obama changed his tune on gay marriage in his um, second term. So the whole idea of Trump being a homophobe is a bit pointedly ridiculous and shows how uneducated you are. Then you came and you were talking about ta raising your taxes when you were on talking to Joe Biden and saying that you want your taxes lowered, but at the same time you want universal health care. That's ignorant and stupid. And Joe Biden knows it's ignorant and stupid. Even all the people that want free health care and universal health care acknowledge that tax rates have to be astronomical to be able to support that. So you're talking about a 74% tax rate. You continually keep saying you have a number one song. It means shit. Nobody cares about a song about your wet ass pussy. Excuse my language for my followers. Um, being, num being number one, I have a number one song in the UK. I have a number one song in Australia. I have a number one song in New Zealand. That has nothing to do with black America and whether or not you are helping or hurting. Right now, you are hurting black America. Okay, when you stand on a platform, and you pretend to care about black, black men. When you ask Joe Biden, what are we gonna do about these black men dying? He should have asked you back, what are black men gonna do about black men dying? Because 94% of black men are killed by other black men, okay? We don't have an issue with police officers. In fact, if you go into those inner cities and you go into those projects, they need more policing. So you're a fraud. You're sitting here saying, making it seem like you are, you're afraid of police officers. Are you afraid of your husband? You're more likely to be killed by your husband, way more likely to be killed by your husband than you are by a police officer. And you know that, right? You know that black, black men kill more white men. You know that police officers are killed by black men 18 and a half times more, right? So don't use your platform and 75 million people to make it seem like police officers are the issue. You're uneducated. I mean, that is just what it is. You are uneducated. And I don't have a problem, by the way, with musicians and rappers and hip-hop artists dabbling in politics if they're sincere. What I mean by that is, are you talking to people on both sides? Are you trying to actually get an informed understanding? Or are you just being a mouthpiece for one party? Charlemagne the God has multiple people on his platform. He's talked to Republicans. He's friends with uh, Senator Tim Scott, talks to him. He's a, a Trump supporter. He's had uh, vice presidential candidates, presidential candidates on his show, on The Breakfast Club. But he's a serious, he asks serious questions. He doesn't sit down with Joe Biden and say, oh, grr. in fact, Joe Biden wasn't comfortable when Charlemagne the God was sitting down and speaking to him because Charlemagne the God was asking so many difficult questions. He wasn't just giving him a Santa Claus list like you are. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that, and none of it makes sense. If you're serious about politics, if you're serious about trying to use your platform for good, then you need to educate yourself. That's literally all anybody is saying to you is that you need to actually educate yourself and do the work. By the way, I'm not in your zone, you're in mine. 
Okay, so I get tired of your commenters and your fans saying, oh, oh she's clout chasing. I'd be clout chasing if I was challenging you to a rap battle. I'm not doing that. You're in my area. You're in politics. You're embarrassed because you realize you know nothing about anything when you're on Twitter. You actually told a, a lie just now to all of your followers. You said, oh, oh Trump, uh, A, you said Trump told people to drink bleach. He never did that. Then you said Trump laughs when black men get shot by police officers. How do you just put out a lie like that? How, how do you consider yourself to be a serious person when you just outwardly lied to all of your followers? You know he's never laughed at a black man dying at police officers' hands. You know that for a fact. You can't pull a clip. Not even CNN with all of their bullshit and lies has ever claimed that Donald Trump laughs when black men die at police officers. But you told that lie in a tweet. Why did you tell that lie? Because you're a fraud. So I'm calling you out on being a political fraud. You pretend you want to help. You don't. You don't. You don't know why you're a Democrat. You have no idea why you hate Republicans. You have no idea why you're on the side of the party that enslaved black people, that segregated black people, and standing behind a man that supported segregation. Joe Biden supported segregation. He said it's what black people wanted. So let's just recap all of that. You're concerned about homophobia. For the eight years that Joe Biden was in office, him and Obama didn't support gay marriage until the second term, but not when he was running for the second term. They didn't support gay marriage going into that office. You claim that you're concerned about racism and dying black men, yet you want to defund police officers. That, that makes entirely no sense. You cannot defund the people that are actually protecting black people. Black people need more policing in their neighborhoods, not less of it. And by the way, in those neighborhoods, there are black police officers that are dying because it tends to be that police officers look like the neighborhoods that they're policing. So you are actually saying on a platform for more black men to die, for taxes to be raised, right? right for a man that has a very atrocious race record to be put into office, who looked at you the entire time, like he was confused when you were talking because he knew that you you were nothing but a puppet for him to be able to get a platform. That's it. You're a puppet. They use you. Okay. And you, you want to sit here and talk about Trump using me or, or, or like, what do you, what do you, what do you talk about using me for what? I don't work for the RNC. I don't get paid by the Trump campaign. I say what I believe. You don't know what to do when you're looking at a black woman that's free. That's what your, your problem is. I am telling you who I support and I'm educated. And I'm challenging you to become educated. I'm challenging you to sit down with black conservatives, okay, and have a meaningful conversation and a dialogue about what you actually want and to actually try to understand the economics behind what you want and to try to understand why it is you're actually supporting a man that does not care about black lives and never has and has been in office for decades and hasn't changed anything and you're blaming Trump? It makes no sense. You hate Trump because they told you to hate Trump. You gave me no valid reasons for hating Trump. Not a single one, not even one valid reason for why you hate Trump. You just think you're supposed to because you're a puppet. That's what happens when you get big. Look, Cardi, I enjoyed you a lot on Love & Hip Hop. I thought you were hilarious. The second I first saw you on TV, I said to my cousin, she's going to be a star. She has that it factor. She's very funny. You know, she's confident and she says ridiculous things. I think you belong on TV. I don't believe you belong in the realm of politics unless you're willing to get serious about it. In conclusion tonight, I was just signing books and I'm gonna send you one because you need one. You need to learn, you need to black out, you need to black sit, you need to learn about the real history of the Democrat party. See that subtitle, how black America can make, it, make its second escape from a Democrat plantation. You wanna know why it says second Cardi and not first? Because we were enslaved by Democrats, not Republicans. Okay? We were enslaved by Democrats, not Republicans. So I'm going to sign you a copy, get in touch with my agent, get in touch with your agent, I'm going to send it to your house. Okay? How's that for WAP? Okay? Bye. We got two coons arguing over nothing. Oh, what is up?